ड्यूरिंग अ क्रिकेट मैच अ बैट्समैन वॉज हिट बाई द बॉल ऑन हिज हेड एंड लॉस्ट द कॉन्शियसनेस मोमेंटरली He quickly regained his senses, composed himself, and continued with the play. A while later, he again fell unconscious, and was rushed to hospital. This time, which of the following blood vessels can be affected in this case? So, first of all, so this patient he got unconscious. After that, he regained his consciousness, and then again he became what unconscious. So, period of consciousness in between two periods of unconsciousness is called as what? This is called as lucid interval. This is called as lucid interval, which can be seen in a case of head injury. So, can you answer me? In which condition it can be seen? Remember, yeah, this can be seen in a case of EDH. In a case of E D H. So, what is the meaning of extra dural hemorrhage, sub dural hemorrhage, sub arachnoid hemorrhage? See, you would have learned about this, right? This is a skull. After that, see, this is the pia mater, arachnoid mater, dura mater. This is called a pia mater, arachnoid mater, dura mater. Suppose if there will be bleeding just above dura mater, so it will be E D H. Okay, now suppose if there will be bleeding below dura mater, it is subdural, subdural. Below arachnoid, okay, this will be called a what? Subarachnoid hemorrhage. Question is in EDH, which blood vessel is getting damaged? Middle meningeal artery. In a case of subdural, bridging veins. In a case of subarachnoid hemorrhage, yes, arterial aneurysm, or any case of what? Arteriovenous malformation. So remember here, lucid interval. Lucid interval is seen in extra dural hemorrhage. E D H. Answer here is middle meningeal artery. Middle meningeal artery. Okay, now let's solve some more questions related to forensic medicine. Suppose if there is a case of child abuse. Suppose if there is a case of battered baby syndrome, where out of anger when father is going to hold the head of the son and he is going to shake him like this. So this is called as shaken baby syndrome. In this case also there can be intracranial bleeding. No. So my question is in a case of child abuse, which hemorrhage you expect? Subdural hemorrhage. Please remember here in a case of child abuse. You see subdural hemorrhage. Now, in a case of EDH, first time when patient got admitted to your hospital, at that time patient was unconscious. After basic management, after a few hours, patient became fully conscious. Right during this phase, and where you have seen the CT scan, where CT scan you can see biconvex. CT scan you can see at the biconvex bleeding part. In this case, if you are asking the patient. That I want to admit you for more two days, but patient is saying no, 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 doctor, you want to make money. That's why you are admitting me. No, no, I don't want. Uh, like I don't want to stay here. I have to go home. I have to go home. So what you are going to do now? What kind of decision you are going to take? Are you going to discharge him? No. If patient, so first of all, you have to explain the patient that no, I am suspecting extra dural hemorrhage. This can be the period of lucid, lucid interval. Okay, see, it could be possible that you may go into unconsciousness again. So I have to keep you under observation. This can be dangerous for you. But again, if patient does not want to stay, then you have to ask the patient to sign on some legal paper. That is called as a lama or dama. Lama or dama. Lama means leave against medical advice. Dama means discharge against medical advice. Here, patient can put the signature that doctor has explained me everything. If something will happen to me, I will be responsible for my condition, and doctor will not be responsible for this case. So remember here, this table is frequently asked question.